Yesterday, we told you about a rare reptile found in Palm Harbor, and tonight we are hearing from the woman who found it. Yeah, you don't see that every day. Eight on your side, Pinellas County Bureau reporter Christine McClarty has this story now from Palm Harbor. Most people wouldn't be surprised to see a snake in their grass or bushes, but you can imagine Kay Rogers' surprise when her kids called saying there's a two-headed snake in her living room. It actually got brought inside by my cat. Kay Rogers says her cat Olive brought this two-headed serpent into their living room as a gift. Neighbors are horrified. Cats and gifts like that. That's why I'm a dog person. Oh, I was totally aware. Like, I didn't believe it. Florida Fish and Wildlife officials say it's a rare two-headed southern black racer. Kind of was like, I mean, what else can happen this year? Like, <laughs> this is just, this is just 2020, I think. Roger says her kids, Avery and Wyatt, loved it. They built it an indoor habitat where it lived for five days. But mealtime with bugs, lizard tails, and small frogs was tough. One head would be looking this way and see the food, and the other head would be looking that way. So he wouldn't be able to get there fast enough to get it. Or they would both see the same thing, but it would be like overwhelming to them. They were like, oh God. <laughs> FWC officials say the phenomena called bicephaly happens during embryo development when twins fail to separate. So, you know, it's Halloween. It seems pretty relevant. FWC officials say they're unlikely to survive in the wild because the two brains make different decisions, making eating and escaping predators difficult. Roger says people online tried to buy it for their, quote, home collection. She said, no way. I'd rather have them kind of where I know someone's going to take care of him. The rare snake was recently taken from the Rogers house to Gainesville, where it's being cared for by Florida Fish and Wildlife staff. In Palm Harbor, Christine McClarty, 8 on your side. You know, I like in the story how she puts it in perspective. It's like a snake this small, yeah. but our producers oh, are really enjoying making it look like it's about to eat all of eat us.